Hello, hello. Can everyone hear me? Hello. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Cool, lots of people in here. Awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Fabiana, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Daniel, and you? I'm doing really good. I'm doing really good, thanks. Uh, I know you wanted to come to the Argentina class, so I'm glad you made it to the England one. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, I'm happy to yeah. be in this one. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Cool. And David, are you there? Hey, how are you? Good. I'm doing really good. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Cool. Are you there? Uh, well, actually, I knew here. I thought so, yeah. Where, where are you from, David? I'm from Chile. From Chile, cool. Where in Chile? In the south of Chile. In a oh. city called Osorno. Oh, okay. Well, I've, I've, been, I've been to Chile one time, but only to Atacama. Oh, yeah. It's, it's in beautiful. The third. Okay, cool. uh, David, I, I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada, but now I live in Mexico. Oh. oh. Oh, That's what are you doing in Mexico? Working, studying, or what? Ah, uh, or a everything. Well, I, I, I <laughs> well, well, I, I'm actually uh, right now. I'm I'm full time on Colingo, um, and I don't go back to school until September in Canada. So I'm just uh, I'm living in Mexico because I like it here, and I speak Spanish, so it helps. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. and. Uh, how long will you stay there? I don't know for sure. Um, probably until the summer, but maybe longer. We'll see. I don't like to make too many plans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just in case things change, right? But right. I, I have applied for school in Canada in August, so I might go back to Canada. But it's cold. I don't like the cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, nice to meet you, everyone. Nice to meet you too. Welcome. And Marisa. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Marisa. Are you a new student as well? Yes, this is my first time. So um, I apologize if I feel a little lost because it's my first <laughs> class. No, in my, it's... In, in my English is not very good. They. Um, I I I ask you only a little question if he, I don't understand. <laughs> don't okay. worry, don't okay. worry, don't worry. We're all here learning, right? Uh, okay. Marisa, where are you from? I am from Brazil. From Brazil, all right. Excellent, excellent. Yes. Cool. Where in Brazil? Um, I was born in Curitiba, but I live in São Paulo. Ah, Brazil. okay. Cool. Yes. Yeah, awesome. Well, welcome to class, Marisa. It's Thank nice you to have so. You. Thanks so much. Hey, Jane. Hey, Hello. how Hello. teacher? <laughs> how are you? <laughs> good. Good. Hey, uh, hey, Marisa. I'm from Korea, Curitiba, too. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> is it, uh, Curitiba is the best uh, uh, city of the world. <laughs> yeah, but, but I like São Paulo a lot too. <laughs> I love São Paulo. <laughs> cool, cool. How, how many people uh, live there? What's the population? Uh, in São Paulo? Or no, Curit uh, Curitiba. Curit Curitiba. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's about one billion. Well, don't remember. Uh, one billion. Uh, one, mi one million. One billion. Million. Uh, Seven hundred. Uh, I don't yeah, know. One, yeah, one. Yeah, uh, one billion. One billion. Seven hundred sixty four million. One, one million. Billion. Billion. Five hundred forty. <laughs> Something okay. like that. <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. Hey, Jane, good luck with work. Oh, thank you so much, 
Okay. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it wasn't very luck, but that's okay. <laughs> I, I'm happy about this class now. I'm, I'm needing some holidays on London, <laughs> in London. Uh, wait, wait until the summer. Wait until the summer. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold in London now. <laughs> but but it, today is London. Uh, it is snowing a lot. It's snowing in London today. No, uh, in London uh, today uh, it's snowing. Wow! Hey, yeah. that's good information. <laughs> yes, yeah, because I have one friend. Uh, he live living in London, and uh -huh. today uh, he uh, posted in the Facebook a lot of pictures. The snow. <laughs> it's very cold. <laughs> Hello, Liliana. Hi, Daniel. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Have you walked the dog yet today? No, after class. Okay. <laughs> Always after class. No, he's uh, sleeping. Oh, good. I'm. I'm a little bit jealous of him. I wish I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because dogs uh, aren't asleep uh, well uh, at night. So oh, yeah. yeah. Take advantage of the morning and uh, he always uh, take a, a long uh, siesta. Ah, yes. A nice little siesta. <laughs> yes, a little <laughs> siesta. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Cool. Um, hey, Luisa. Hi. You made it. Yeah. Hey, Luisa, this morning I was. I realized I had no picture, no Harry Potter pictures on my thing, so I had to, I scrambled to find a Harry Potter. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> I have Harry Potter photo on my uh, wall. <laughs> yes, okay. Are, are, are you are you do you look at Harry Potter and go, oh, he's so no. handsome. <laughs> <laughs> he's not handsome. I just like the film so much. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, I'm glad you made it, Louisa, because I know you really wanted to come to this class. Yeah, and Radic. Hey. Hey. Let's do this new game like every day, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you usually don't make it to the first class. You're here early today. Oh, if I'm early today? Yeah. It's 3, yeah, it's 3 p.m. in Norway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you're here so early. It's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. Hey, Radic, do you know much about England? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I just check. check I, I, I check in the weather. It's minus one right now. Yeah, and it's it's possible to snow in England in London, but yeah. that's not that that sometimes happens. Not not every year. But it's always uh, the the temperature is uh, always uh, like plus plus and something. Yeah, but it's right. It's close though to zero. It's not yeah. not very warm. It's cold. That's the thing in London. It's yeah. it's um it's winter time. Winter time. It, yeah, the temperature doesn't change much though from the summer to the winter. But it's it's wet cold. So you kind of uh, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I hate the weather. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well, I know it's nothing compared to Norway, Radic. I know, I know that's cold. That's real cold. Right? Sometimes it's better when it's uh, when it's snowing than the rain and cold and yeah. wind. Yeah, it's like right. like right now, you know, it's it's little snowing. It's like a uh, minus five, so it's better than it's uh, raining and it's windy and you know. Yeah. Anyway, I need sun. <laughs> I'm wasting my time here. You guys need to go to Brazil. That's it. Yeah, that's the secret. Yeah, yeah. The secret. <laughs> hey, I was wondering, has anybody, does anybody remember? Um, I think it was about two Christmases ago. They got a lot of snow in England. About two Christmases ago, they got lots of snow. And all of England was like was ah, yes. stopped mm -hmm. because they, I think, well they didn't get that much snow they got about that much snow but in England that's a lot so the whole thing stopped and they didn't know what to do mm -hmm. and they then I remember to, thinking they didn't I know how to drive in the car in this in, in yeah well, people didn't know what to do 
People didn't yeah. know what to do. And I remember thinking in, in Canada in the winter, we get like that much snow. Thinking, wow, if they got that much snow, everybody would just give up. <laughs> They'd quit. <laughs> and there you go. Uh, hey, Simon. Hello. Hey, Simon, how are you doing? Oh. <laughs> <I didn't laughs> you. Simon, where are you from? Slovakia. Slovakia? Yeah. Ah, cool. Cool. Excellent. Like my neighbor. <laughs> yeah. How's the weather there? What? How is the weather? Ah, snowing. Yeah? Cool. Yeah. No. But I like the weather in Slovakia. It's kind of like it doesn't get really, really cold. You get pretty good weather, I think. <laughs> Lots of snow and nice weather. I had snow. <laughs> cool. Well, hey guys, to start with, um, I just want to kind of do what we talked about uh, last time. And just for the new students who I didn't see last time, um, I kind of want to get your your perception of England, okay? Because today's class is a history geography class on England and I want to know what the first thing you think of is when you think of England, okay? So, oh, things cutting out here. So, David, starting with you, could you tell me, could you tell me, what do you think of when you think of England? Uh, well, I have a an uh, England friend, and she's she's always talking about the tea time, you know. Mm. <laughs> tea time, <laughs> good. I I remember tea time. I have that as one of my slides because tea time. Oh my god, this is tea time. I I gotta go, you know. <laughs> and the other thing that she said is about the weather. The weather is kind of rainy there in most of the time, you know? Sure. You know, as much as Radic complains about the weather, I think the English complain about the weather more than Radic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably, no. <laughs> and I don't know what else. Well, I think that's all that I know. For now. Okay, okay, yeah. that's good, that's good. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. So perfect, perfect. And Luna wrote tea time with whiskey. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Uh, good. Yeah, that, Fabiana, that's how about you? What do you think of? Uh, excellent, excellent. <laughs> so, tea time. <laughs> oh, I, have never, I have never been there. Okay. But I would like to a lot. And when I think about England, uh, I think about the Queen, uh, the red buses, the tea, the the London Eye. The, ah, the London Eye, yeah. Does does everybody know what the London Eye is? Uh, I know Andre knows what the London Eye is. Andre is over there. He's uh, he's living in London right now. Uh, the London Eye, the London Eye, is a huge Ferris wheel. It's a Ferris wheel, right? So a big ride that you get on, and it takes you way up in the air, and you can see all of London from the top. It looks really cool. I've never been on it, but it looks really cool. Cool. The, the 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 fish fish fries. Sure, they say fish and chips. They call them fish. Yes, and chips. fish and chips. Actually, yeah. I I have a friend that that lives there, and she says that she doesn't like it because it's not good. <laughs> and but apart from that, she loves everything there. But uh, in, in fact, she 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 says that people there are a, uh, they are a little uh, difficult to 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 get close to to make friends to the people there are, are a little cold. Oh you know? really? And is she living in London? She's living in uh, Birmingham. In Birmingham. Oh. Yes. Okay, Birmingham's got it's a 
a little bit of a rich city. They've got a lot of um, uh, banking and things in Birmingham. So that's interesting. Mm. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Uh, okay. Louisa, you weren't here last class, right? No? Okay. Lu Louisa, when you think of England, what do you think of? Oh, <laughs> so many things. First, Big Ben. Big First ben. is what? Big Ben. Big Ben. Yeah. Does yeah. everybody know what Big Ben is? Yes. Clocks. It's, yeah, it's a big clock. It's a big clock in London. Cool. Then, uh, House of Parliament. Sure, the House of Parliament, yeah. Yeah. Um, then, uh, horse, horse racing. Ah, horse racing. Okay. With, uh, with hats that woman was wearing. <laughs> yeah. uh, the, big, the big fancy ones with the feathers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then, of course, my Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter, um, yeah. A film chronicling of Narnia. Ah, yeah, and, and Jane was talking about that last time. I, <laughs> I, I told Jane that when I was a kid, I read all the books. Oh, oh I like the film. <laughs> <laughs> um, then I know that there was some uh, bell. Yeah. What is that? It's famous for some bells. Mm. The London bells. I don't know how to say it in English, sorry. I will find the picture. Okay, you, you find it and you tell me. Okay. Okay. Cool. Hey, we're we're gonna talk about all of that. We're gonna talk about all of that. Like, the horse racing the horse racing, I know you think of like the women and the hats and everything. I think it's kind of like the past now. That's not the same as it used to be. I think that's more in the past, but there's still horse racing. It's just I think a different kind of atmosphere. Yeah. Cool. Cool. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, and um, Ben, One Direction, do you know? Guy. The what? One Direction. Ah, the new band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, I hope we can find some better music from England today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of famous music from England, right? Lots of. Uh, what uh, you might have heard of a band called the Beatles. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. Of course, of course, of course. Beatles. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Cool, uh, Marisa. What about you? What do you think of when you think of England? Uh, I think it's a city uh, that is always raining. Okay. I, I think. But um, I particularly don't like the chill. Um, London tea because I I don't like black tea. I think it, in London just to have a uh, black tea. I yeah, they don't they don't drink a lot of uh, a lot of green tea. They they usually they usually have uh, two kinds of tea. They have English breakfast is a kind of tea, right? English breakfast it's called. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I I've uh, never been there. But uh, I believe it's a wonderful city. I have uh, many friends uh, who who live there. Okay, okay, cool. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Excellent. Uh, Radek, how about you? What do you think? Right, it's time for me right now, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm mean, a guy, so we have a lot of women today. So yeah, I'll say yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. I supposed to be a last one, of course. <laughs> and this, and the Simon, yeah, and the Simon. Anyway, okay. Uh, the, the first of all, you know, they drive on the left line. Ah, they drive on the left yeah. side of the road. Yes, this is true. They drive on the left side. As, of the road. And, and the same thing with the horses, you know, <laughs> just they, they turn around. <laughs> Uh, the horse, are the horses on the left side? <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. And uh, they play polo. Polo, <laughs> ah, yes. Polo. Yeah. Does, does everybody know what polo is? Yes. Anybody not know what polo is? It's like when on the horses where you they play the game with the, the mallets, with the sticks on the ball, and they hit it off the horse. 
from while well, they're not off the horse, they're riding the horse, and they hit it on the ground. Right? Yeah, it's like a hockey, but they they like, they like hockey the with the horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah with the horse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, but they have no eyes. <laughs> I like no, that. <laughs> and uh, what else? Uh, I I have no idea. Uh, okay. And the, also the tea, the tea. And the tea. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to talk about all this, so that's cool. That's yeah. cool. Um, and Luna said, "Did you mention the universities?" Well, I didn't mention the universities, but you're right. They have a lot of famous universities in England. Can anybody name a few? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Some of the some of the big ones. Oxford. Oxford, no? yes, no. Oxford. The, two of the biggest ones, uh, and and Andre's got the other one, Oxford, okay. and Cambridge. Right, these are the two very big universities that that everyone in the world knows about. Right, Oxford, and Cambridge, for sure. And William mentioned Stonehenge. Yeah, Stonehenge is pretty cool, for sure. For it's sure. Look at the link that I sent. Let me go back up. Okay. Cool. This is in the Big Ben. London is famous with this belt. Ah, that's in Big Ben. Yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to show that because we're going to talk about Big Ben. The outsiders can't see my screen. I don't know what's going on with Google Plus. The like. lovely new Brazilian students. <laughs> Mauricio. I don't know what to do here. Well, Give me five. <laughs> hope, well, hopefully they'll see my screen share if I get this. There we go. We'll see. Okay. Well, what, I, what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, is talk a little bit. Now that we've, we've all kind of given our opinion, I want to look back at what we talked about last time. And then move on to the next, uh, the next few ideas, the next few cultural themes. Okay, so once again, we have the flag of England. Right. Remember, this is the flag of England. The flag of the UK is different. Right. We talked about this before. The flag of the UK is different from the flag of England, because England is one of four places within the United Kingdom, right? We also have Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. England is part of it, okay? So we don't want to forget um, that this St. is the George, flag. St. George flag. Pardon me? St. George flag. The St. George flag, exactly, yeah, yeah. So the UK flag is, is a little bit different, right? We got the, the Union Jack, they call it. So, um, so yeah, I'll just I'll just show everybody what I mean, real quickly, so that we don't get them confused. This is the United Kingdom flag. Okay, that is the UK flag. That's the UK flag, but we're talking about England. Okay, only England. So, we're looking at this flag, St George flag. Right, cool. Uh, okay, so going down, we talked a little bit about geography. You talked about the fact that it's Great Britain or the United Kingdom. It's made up of England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. Uh, Northern Ireland, and we're talking about England, only England. The other, the other places we will talk about later. Okay, that'll be another subject. So one of the first things we talked about, and I, I think, uh, I think Fabiana, I think you mentioned the Queen. Well. We're talking about the whole royal family here, right? We talked about the royal family and the paparazzi and how they don't have private lives, right? right. And Liliana said they need to give more money to the poor, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> more charities. Yes. Um, we also talked about the Queen's Guard, okay? We talked about the Queen's Guard. And while we were talking about the Queen's Guard last time, we talked about what um, what is so interesting about the Queen's Guard? They look like statues. Yeah, I, everybody on the outside, I understand that you can't see the screen. It's not my fault, and there's nothing I can do. 
I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. The only, the only thing I can suggest, yes, is that Mauricio, thank you Mauricio very much. So, so Mauricio is showing um, my screen, which is the best we can do. It'll be small for you guys, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So, yeah, we talked about the Queen's Guard a little bit, and we talked about how, with the Queen's Guard, these guys are still like statues, right? So, um, we were, I, I talked about uh, doing a, uh, showing a Mr. Bean clip about it, but um, we don't have a lot of time, and I kind of want to get through everything. So we're going we're gonna to keep going, okay? Uh, okay. So after the Queen's Guard... We looked at two very famous symbols of England, especially London, the red telephone booth and the red double-decker bus. Okay, we talked another, a little bit. Another symbol is underground. Symbol. The underground, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, the, the metro, the metro or the subway in London is called the underground. Right? It's one of the oldest met yes, metro in the world. Is it the oldest? Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, wow, I didn't 150 know 150 years. Wow, cool. cool. Hey, I, li I like that you guys have done your studying on this. This is good. All right. Then I see William talked about 007, too. Yeah, they got James Bond. Right? James uh -huh. Bond is from there. There you go. Um, okay, so we talked about that. The next thing that we haven't talked about is their currency, what the money is. Does anybody know what the currency is? Pounds. Yeah. The pound. They call it the pound. The pound. It's also called the pound sterling, right? The pound. The, the pound sterling. So we have the pound. And Andre's like, I know the pound. I got lots of them in my wallet right now. Cool. <laughs> All right. So what I want to do is just do a little bit of reading on this. So. Uh, David, we're going to start with you. Do you think you could read about the British pound? Hello, David, are you there? No, can't hear him. Yeah. Your question, please. Sorry, David, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, I hear Okay, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Is that good? Let's see if yeah, I that's fine. Let me just put it a little bit bigger here. <clears throat> All right, cool. Can you read that for us, David? Okay. The British pound. The pound sterling is the official type of money used in the United Kingdom. The pound is divided into 100 pounds. The pound was so named because it was the, the value, value of one pound weight of sterling silver. This is why it's called pound sterling. Sterling silver means mixed metal that has 19... 92... 92.5... 92.5... Okay. Or more real silver. The sign for the pound is... E? Yeah, it's a funny little sign. That's, that's just the sign, okay? That's what it looks like when we talk about the pound. Okay, when we talk about the pound, this is the symbol we use. Okay, that's the symbol for the pound. It's in in that's what they use in the UK, right? In the UK, in other places they have different signs. So in um, in the US, in the United States, they would use the dollar sign, right? All right. right. Yeah, uh, which is similar to a capital L because. Libra. Yeah. Libra is the Latin for pound. Is symbol for pennies is P. Pronounce it. Pronounce it P, like the letter. 
the British write 550p or you can say 50p again yeah e or 50 and say sure, or 50p or 50p right. same thing I'm sorry sure no no that's good thank you very much David and yeah and they say 50p right so this is funny I don't know has anybody here been to England before no, but I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. When, whenever people are talking about money, they always say, uh, do you have 50p? Can you lend me 50p? Right? So for pennies, they always say p instead of pennies. Right? Cool. So uh, does anybody know how much is a pound worth? Does anyone know? More than a U.S. dollar. More than a U.S. dollar? Yeah. What about compared to a euro? Zero point ninety-five. Yeah, it's, it's close to the euro. Sure, it's close to the euro, but it's more than the euro too. Yeah, it's, it's, like more than it's always been very strong. And one reason I wanted to talk about the currency, the pound, is because I have a question: Is is England part of the U of the European Union? Yes. Yes. Okay. This is true. England is part of the European Union. But they don't share the currency. But they don't share the euro. They don't use the euro. And their reasoning for not using the euro, saying we don't want to use the euro, is because they said the British pound, okay, or the pound sterling, is a national symbol, and they don't want to lose it. Okay? They are so smart. Yeah, well, now it turns out they're smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before it looked like they were stupid, but now it looks like they were very smart, right? Because the euro is not doing so well. So they do not use the euro. So thank you, fine. Yes, but they do not use the euro. Perfect. So that's why I wanted to bring that up, just because um, it's interesting, right? Because they said, we will join the European Union, but we will not use the euro. All right, next thing. Does anybody know who these guys are? The Beatles. The Beatles. The Beatles, and who else? There's some other guys there. Uh, the Rolling Stones. Stones. The Rolling Stones. Yeah, we got the Beatles and the Rolling Stones here, okay? Does anybody know what they called um, the music from England in the 60s? And suddenly there were all these bands from England that came in the 60s, and yeah, they started right. coming to the United States and around the world. They are the icon of the music. The They're story. icons. They're icons, yeah, for sure. They called it the British Invasion. Okay? This was the British... Whoops. Let me get this smaller again. Sorry, guys. The British Invasion. Okay. So this was a time in the 60s when suddenly there were all these big bands, all these big bands coming from the UK and traveling around the world. Okay. Uh, can anybody tell me any other bands from England. from England? Coldplay. Coldplay, <laughs> yeah, we talked about that before. Mm -hmm. Coldplay, and any other ones? Pink Floyd. Six Pink Pistols. Floyd. The Queen. Yeah. The Who. Who? Queen, yes. Uh -huh. Sorry. The Sex what, Pistols. What did you say? Sex Pistols, yeah, yeah, for sure. Lennon. The Who, Radic said Lennon, yeah, we got John Lennon there for sure, Rolling Stones, Radiohead. Hey, Radiohead. Who, who's that, Marisa? Radio Radio, but uh, you say it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so sorry. okay, guys, listen, everybody on the outside, I know that the screen is not working. It's not working. It is not my problem. It is Google Plus's problem. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. Okay. Actually, it's calling the problem. They want, they want to see you. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing I can do. Oh, here we go. There's a lot more there. All right. Ah, Marisa wrote down The Clash. Yes, The yeah. Clash, for sure. I, I think The Clash is England, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. They're definitely from England, right? London Calling. London Calling. That's their, one of their big songs. Um, Andre wrote down Oasis. Oasis is big. Tom York. Yeah, Led Zeppelin. Huge. Uh -huh. 
There is a lot of big bands. There is a lot of big bands from England. Okay. Does anybody know what two towns, or sorry, what two cities have produced a lot of the music? Liverpool. Liverpool is very famous, right? That's where the Beatles are from. Yes. The Beatles are from Liverpool, right? They've produced a lot of music in Liverpool. Um, any anything else? Any other big city that has a lot of music? London. Man Manchester as well has produced a lot of big music, okay, as well. But Liverpool's famous for the for the bands. That, that come out of there. You're right, Johnny. London as well. London's a big city. So there are definitely a lot of uh, big bands that have come out of London as well. Cool. Uh, all right. Fabiana, I'm going to get you to read now. I'm going to get you to read. So could you read about okay. the British invasion? The British invasion was a phenomenon that occurred in the mid 1960s when rock and pop music acts from the United Kingdom as well as other aspects of British culture became popular in the United States. Bands such as The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, The Who and The Moody Blues would get their start during this time and go on to make a lasting impact on the US music scene. Ah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. So this the, the British invasion was something that happened in the middle of the 60s. Okay, and this was when the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the Who, and Moody Blues came over to the United States. Okay, and I think the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and the Who were uh, they they became quite famous and they stayed. The, the Moody Blues didn't last as long. They weren't um, they they didn't become as famous worldwide. So there you go. Uh, Fawn, there is no article to share. This is what I've made. Okay? It's, there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Louisa, you pointed out Elton John. Yeah, there's another big one, right? Elton John's from London. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, if anybody wants to look, sorry, you see at the bottom there, there's a little bit of a link. This is all of the British artists. Okay, that that have done really well on the on the Billboard charts. Okay, from the six, I think going back all the way to the sixties. So it's interesting to look at if you want to see all the big bands that are from England. Um, it's pretty amazing. It's a long, long list. So. Deep Purple. There you go, David. Yeah, Deep Purple. Cool. Uh, okay, we're gonna continue here. So who's this guy? Shakespeare. 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 Cool, cool. And in literature, there's been a lot of famous literature from England. Can can anybody think of other famous literature? So li by literature, I mean writers. Mm, I, I don't know. Well, we yeah. we mentioned one. We mentioned one that's quite famous now. Who is a famous writer now from England? Uh, the the author of Harry 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 Potter's Potter. author. Yeah, I can remember. <laughs> yeah. <that too. laughs> Harry Potter's yeah. author. Does anybody know what her name is? Yeah, Joe Rowling. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. So yeah, very famous. Um, <laughs> Matin wrote down Virginia Woolf. David, you wrote down Margaret Thatcher. Well, she's not so much a famous author as a famous prime minister. Although I'm sure she has written some things. Thomas Hardy. Okay, good. Very good, Matin. Um, I don't know Thomas More really, Tastin, but I'm sure he is famous. I would believe that. Uh, Charles Dickens. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of yes. Charles Dickens. Oh. He is quite Sir famous. Arthur Conan Doyle. Yes, of course. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. What did he write? Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, there you go. And Dr. Watson, and Dr. Watson. <laughs> and Dr. Watson, yes. <laughs> Mauricio, did you know that my initials are D.R. Watson? Sorry? My, my initials, because my middle name is Roy. My full name is Daniel, Daniel Roy Watson. Uh -huh. Oops, that should be... <laughs> 
So, Dr. Watson. Doc, Dr. <laughs> Watson. Those are my initials. Yes, that's why I said I'd call you. <laughs> there you go. Cool, yeah, so lots, guys, yeah. There's lots. Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie, yes, right. Murder mysteries. Murder mysteries, there you go, for sure. Uh, and she's she's probably the most famous um, murder mystery writer there is, right? Uh, okay, good. So looking down at William Shakespeare, okay? He was an interesting guy. Can anybody tell me some of um, some of the things, the plays that he wrote? Hamlet. Hamlet, yeah. Oh, Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet, yeah, that's one of his most famous, right? Romeo. Othello. 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 Hey, you know, speaking of Romeo and Juliet, has anybody ever seen the movie? Yes. Romeo and yeah. Juliet. Yes. Yeah. In my house, I have the mirror. I have the mirror that Leonardo DiCaprio looks at in my house, in my bedroom, from the movie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but not the old just, one. The old one. No, the, no, no, the one with Leonardo DiCaprio. I have the, okay. the one that he looks at in the movie. I just thought I'd tell you that. <laughs> uh, yeah, a fellow. What else? Matthew, I sonnets. do mean the sonnets. The sonnets, yeah, he has a lot. He's he's mostly famous for his tragedies, though, right? He's he's done a few comedies and he's done historical ones too. His tragedies were the really big ones, right? Hamlet, Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet. These are all tragedies. Right? Hey, and th there was a theater, yeah, for his name. There was a what? Theater. A theater. Yes. Ah, yes. Well, he's quite famous, no question. Sorry, Mauricio, did you want to say something else? Yes, I can remember the name of the of the of the of the where 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 a donkey appears. Where a donkey appears. Uh, I can't remember. A donkey. Let Let me see. Let me look for. The The Merchant of Venice. No, this is another one. Uh, no, let me let me look for and don't don't. Never okay. mind. I'm late. Matt, Matt, Matin's got lots. He's been writing them all down. That's cool. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Well, while we're doing that, Jane, can I get you to read a little bit about William Shakespeare? Okay. Um, William Shakespeare was an English author who wrote thirty-eight plays and also many poems in his lifetime. He lived in Stratford-upon-Avon in, oh my god, <laughs> War, <laughs> Warwick, what's that? War, Warwickshire. Warwickshire, <laughs> England. Thing. His play are still performed today. He is often quoted in modern writing. Keep going? Yeah. He became an actor in 15 in the Lord Chamberlain's Men Production House. His place are... That's good, that's good. Okay. That's good. Uh, uh, there you go. Cecilia found it, Mauricio. A, mid, a Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. Yes. Thank you, Cecilia. Uh, Fabiana had to leave. Sorry, sorry to see you go, Fabiana. So, somebody else who's on the outside, you can jump in the class now. We've, we've got one spot. Um, okay, Liliana, can you continue to read? His plays are of different ki kinds or genres. There are genres. Gen how, how do I pronounce it? It's that? a French word. You say genres. 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 Mm -hmm. There are histories, tragedies, and comedies. These plays are among the best known in English literature and are studied in schools around the world. Shakespeare wrote his works between about uh, 1590 and 1613. Shakespeare has been credited for adding new words and phrases to the English language and for making some words more popular. Yeah, and that, that last one is actually um, very true. There's a lot of Shakespeare words okay, mm -hmm. that people use. Shakespeare has uh, influenced the English language quite a bit. Okay? Mm -hmm. So lots of the words we use, um, Shakespeare has actually come up with. He's, he's coined them. He's coined the phrase. There you go. 
Uh, okay. So let's see. Oh, see, good. I see. Um, uh, Martin, you've you've joined. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, I just made it. Thanks. Good. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Martin, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Iran. From Iran. All right. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Uh, are Are you living in Iran now? Uh, yes, I'm usually, you know, uh, I usually travel to, uh, to, to other countries, but uh, I'm just back from a, a trip from, uh, you know, Turkey. Ah, okay. Yes, I'm in Iran right now. Cool. <laughs> Have you been to England? Uh, no, 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 not yet. <laughs> okay. okay. Cool. Cool. Well, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Uh, Matthew, Thank if, you. If you want to know, uh, my name is Daniel, and I'm from Canada, but I live in Mexico. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. I, I was listening, you know, as as you were uh, introducing yourself and stuff, you oh, know. Okay. So you know, I was Perfect. I was waiting outside the door, just you know. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, guys, the next thing I want to look at here is a little bit of English food, okay? And so we talked about this before. We talked about a famous English dish right there. Can anybody tell me, what is that? Fish and chips. Fish and chips. They call them fish and chips. Fish and chips. So in the UK, in the UK, in England, they don't say French fries, okay? They never say French fries. Oops, that should say French fries fries sorry they always say chips they say chips for french fries okay and what we call chips in canada and and the united states are when you open a bag of chips you go in there like olays right but they call those crisps mm -hmm. crisps okay so it often gets confusing when I'm hanging out with my English friends and they say, oh, let's go get some chips. And they say, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to wait for dinner. And they say, no, no, we'll get a hamburger and chips. I say, yeah. uh -huh. Sounds awful. I want some French fries. <laughs> uh -huh. So there you go. So this is a, it's a famous dish. It's, it's quite greasy. It's quite greasy. But you can find this uh, quite a bit in England, actually. It's pretty easy to find. Right? Another thing that has become famous all around the world is the English breakfast, and they call it the ah, full yes. English breakfast. Beans. The full. It always comes with beans, uh -huh. right? Always comes with beans. Lots of meat, has some mushrooms and eggs, right? That's what you get. So that's a full. There's something missing on here. Is, is there? Can anybody tell me one thing that's missing in this full English breakfast? Anyone know? No. They often have uh, a roasted tomato. Okay. A roasted. <laughs> Victor it's, says it's, tea. <laughs> tea. <laughs> They're also missing their tea. Yes, of course. They'll save that for tea time, Victor. So it yeah. Seems like they, yes, Mauricio. Oh, sorry. No, it's sorry, sorry, sorry. It seems like uh, bandeja paisa. <laughs> yes, yes. Ah, okay. Here we are. <laughs> cool. So it's very filling. It's very filling, that's for sure. Right? All right. So, just, I'm uh, sorry, while we're talking about British food, let's just read. I just want to get somebody to read this for us. So, um, let's see. Louisa, can you read that? Yep. British. Uh, what's that? Cool. The word is, it's a French word, cuisine. Cuisine <laughs> is the cooking tradition and practices associated with the United Kingdom. British uh, cool, oh, sorry, has been described as enthusiastic dishes made with quality local uh, ingredients, um, matched with simple, uh, what's that? Sauces. Sauces to uh, accentuate. Accentuate. <laughs> accentuate uh, flavor. Better than uh, discuss it. However, British uh, cuisine has cuisine. Absorbed, cuisine has <laughs> absorbed the cultural influence of soup that have settled in Britain, producing uh, hybrid dishes such as the 
Anglo-Indian chicken tikka masala. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, it's funny when we talk about um, British food. I, I have a friend. I have a friend from England, and whenever whenever he talks about British food, he says, "Oh, we should go for some British food." I say, "What is British food?" He says, "Well, you take you take vegetables and you take some meat." And then you boil them so much that there's no flavor left. <laughs> I said, "Well, that, that, that's a pretty good explanation." But they have uh, a, a pudding, an English pudding, something. Oh like that. yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. they're, 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 all of their desserts are quite nice. Do you know in England though, when they say pudding, pudding actually means what we would call dessert. Uh -huh. okay? So they would call cookies pudding. They would call cakes pudding. Okay. They use it for the same word. Um, one other thing that's interesting is the last sentence. Okay, the last sentence here talks about how a lot of British food is has absorbed the influence, the cultural influences of those that have settled in Britain. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. of people who've come to Britain. So, because India is a former British colony. Their national dish is actually curry. Okay, so that that's a little bit interesting. Is that they they've actually taken um, taken food from other countries and said, okay, this is going to be our national dish, and so their national dish is curry. There you go, chicken tikka masala. Interesting. All right, does anybody know any other um, British foods? Um. Did you mention the black pudding? We didn't mention black pudding. Mauricio, what is black pudding? Uh, well, well, black pudding is um, a dessert. Uh, okay. And it's black. It's like um, a I'm black sorry. sausage. Yes, yes. Black, sausage. black sausage, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the, 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 sometimes they call it blood pudding. Blood pudding, because they actually use the blood, the blood of the animal. Yeah. Uh, any any other foods anyone can think of? Uh, York, Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding. Good. <laughs> what, Marisa, what is Yorkshire pudding? I I don't know. <laughs> I think uh, I think I don't know. It's a dessert, but I don't know how can I how can I do it. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. So sorry. No, that's fine. Does anybody know what Yorkshire pudding is? Can anybody? Can you type it, please? Sure. I think it's made. It's um. It's a recipe for Christmas, and it's made of. I I don't remember the name of that fruit. Um, it's is black. The the fruit is black. Yeah, yeah. You're you're right. You are right. Any uh, anybody else yes. know anything about it? It's made by different kinds of meat. Well, Yorkshire, Yorkshire pudding is actually it's it's almost like a, um, it's almost like a bread. Okay, I don't I don't even know why they call it pudding because when I've eaten it, I had it with with roast beef and gravy. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if there's different Yorkshire puddings around, but when I've had it, it was on the side on the side dish and it was with gravy and meat. No, I'm not is it sure. a kind of of bread of Christmas bread? I, I don't of? know about a Christmas bread. They may have different kinds of Yorkshire puddings, um, but the one I had it was on the side when I had a, a Sunday roast, and it was it's just kind of bread. I think what you're talking about is um, oh I don't even know what they call it. They've got a lot of a, a lot of different. Um, Kind of Christmas breads. I think the one you're talking about has like cherries in it and stuff, right? It's it's almost like bread, sweet, sweet bread, and heavy. Is that right, Mauricio? Uh, well, I suppose I I didn't. I it, it would it, maybe it's the same uh, pan navideño, but I don't. I haven't. I haven't tried it. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. Okay. Okay. No problem. No problem. Um, all right. Well, let's move on. Let's move on because honestly, British British food, although there's a lot of different things, 
it's um it's it's not your your taste buds don't dance when you eat British food. Yeah, it's, <laughs> like my friend said, it's a lot of boiled food and a lot of a lot of sweet food, but it doesn't have the same flavor as some other countries. All right. Speaking of literature, mm -hmm. right? Does everybody know this guy? Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes, right? Sherlock Holmes. And so, Mauricio, who did you say wrote, wrote the Sherlock Holmes? Uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, exactly. Ha has anybody ever read? Has anyone ever read Sherlock Holmes? Oh, uh, yeah. Lisa, yes. Yeah, okay, oh, Mauricio. Actually, I watched the series. Yes. Ah, excellent. Fantastic. No. <laughs> All right. Elementary, <laughs> Dr. Watson. <laughs> Mateen, is it the, the new series you've watched? Uh, no, actually, you know, the old one. Okay, okay. Ha has anybody seen the new movies with Sherlock Holmes? No. Yeah, the, the very recent one. I just, I just watched it a couple uh, of weeks ago. How was it? What did you think? I don't know. It wasn't, no. You know, it wasn't not so... Sherlock Holmes, but you know, it was a kind of action movie, if you ask me. Yeah, <laughs> I, it, it, it wasn't it, something. I, it's almost become a little bit Americanized, right? Very, <laughs> yes, exactly. very no, Hollywood. Think, very Hollywood. Right? But the thing is, smarter. It's smarter. The 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 the, 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 um, the script or the the story is smarter. Yeah. Uh, because uh, it has uh, a lot more sequences. I don't know. It's it's, it's well done. The, the they are well done. The the two the two films with Robert Dow Downey Jr. and he has a very good British accent, by the way. Ah, yeah, because he's American, right? He is American. Yes. yes. Uh, he's American, but he has so, some of the actors actually. I'm always amazed at the ability. Um, for American actors and British actors to change their accents. Because whenever I try to do a British accent, I sound like a, an old lady from a Monty Python movie. <laughs> so I, I'm always amazed that people can, can do it. I was, would you like a cup of tea? Uh, I, said, uh, really <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't be a very good actor. <laughs> I like British accents. <laughs> Who is that? Liliana? I like British accents. You like the British accent? Yeah, it's nice. I think a lot of people in the world like the British accent. Most people don't say, ah, I hate the British accent. Most people are saying, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Do you remember Mary Poppins? Ah, oh, yes. Mary Poppins. Uh -huh. Well, some, some British friends of mine, uh, well, a, a, a very British, a, a, a British, a British friend of mine, Told me that her pron uh, his pronunciation is was terrible, terrible, terrible. terrible. <laughs> oh really? Why? Why? Well, I don't know. I don't know because you know they they uh, they know their own pronunciation. Yeah. But she she just told me that her uh, that Dick Van Dyke's pronunciation was terrible in, in that movie, in that film. They know the little things, right? The little subtleties. That you say in mm. yeah, for sure. Actually, actually, it takes quite some time to to to, you know, to say something in in British. You know, they say they want to you know talk about everything in a very different way. Car, for example, they would say car. They say car, and they don't pronounce you know the R in the end. No, this is you know, <laughs> water, yeah. Water. Water, water. Would would you like a glass of water? Water. water. Yeah, they, in <laughs> the word water, they don't say the T or the R. They just say water. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. it, it's true, it, and uh, I think I think actually for for um, new English speakers, it's probably difficult if you learn American English first and then try to listen to British English because sometimes I have no idea what they're saying. And if I'm there with, with a group of British people and they're all talking really fast, I just, I was, I think, where am I? I? I don't know this language. <laughs> right? So it can be difficult, right? It's beautiful, but yeah, it's, uh, it can be difficult. It's not as difficult as the Irish accent, though. The uh, Irish no, accent is easy to understand. <laughs> Yeah, no, Irish accent is easy to understand. <laughs> oh, I, I have a tough time. 